Hi right, YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of Dexter, Season 7, Episode 9. Sorry this is a day late, I watched it a day late. Um, that was someone else's fault, you know who you are. Yeah, and um, anyway. So, before I get into the big thing that happened this episode, well, a couple of big things. It continued what this season is doing well, which is being surprising. Which is taking things we thought would go in one direction and kind of putting them in another. It's changing the game up, which is what this season has been doing. People being more open with each other. Arcs ending earlier than you thought. You know. And, um... The end game of the season is now completely different. There's three episodes left and... A whole different bunch of storylines have completely taken shape. So, yeah, just really, really... It may have hurt some of the other storylines a little bit, which I'll get into, but... I mean, we'll, we'll see. All right, now, uh, Angel lost his money. On the restaurant, nothing much there. I don't know if something is going to come of that. Um, we'll see. Uh, again, nothing really much. Added more comic relief than anything, more like Masuka. Um, Quinn and... His girl, like, Quinn beat the shit out of the mob guy. I don't know what that's going to mean for Quinn in the next couple of, um, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, that storyline does change a little bit now that Isaac's gone, so... I mean, it's kind of odd. I, I certainly didn't think that storyline would last longer than Isaac. But it has, and I hope there's repercussions for, you know, what Quinn did. If not, then that's kind of weak, so we'll see where it goes. We'll see, you know, if that wraps up in some awful, awful way, then awesome. So, if not, stupid. But we'll see with that. We have a new killer, the Phantom Arsonist. And it's too easy for it to be the, the guy doing all the crime scenes, which is annoying because then it's also a too obvious misdirection. So, you know... I don't know who it's going to be, but, I mean, if it's that guy, that's dumb. If it's, you know, just misdirection, that's dumb. I don't know. It's just so, I don't know how I feel about it yet, or how I feel about it moving into the last couple episodes of the season. Um, I hope, I mean, the only prediction that would be ridiculous about it, which would tie into the Bay Harbor Butcher stuff, is if somehow, because Dokes blew up in a fire, that somehow... Dokes is alive or some shit like that. But that would be a jump the shark thing. And I doubt they're going to do that shit. So, yeah. So, other than something like that, I really have absolutely no idea what they're going to do with it. No idea. If they do something like... And if they do do that, that's just way too insane. Even for this show, I think. So, yeah. As far as the Bay Harbor Butcher stuff goes, LaGuerta... Got a little help from Matthews, or will get some help with Matthews. Which, again could probably end up hurting like Werder more than helping because I think it's very possible that Matthews may know a little bit about Dexter. He let it, he never really let it on, but he was loyal to Harry and he hates LaGuerta. And he will get something out of it, like he said. I mean, he, he basically called her Godzilla. He told her to go to Tokyo or go back in where he told her to go back in the water and go to Tokyo. So that's pretty harsh. Um, yeah, I mean, the Bay Harbor Butcher stuff is going to be very big coming the last couple episodes as she is going to be investigating Dexter now. So, um, like I said at the beginning of the year, yeah, that stuff was on the back burner and now it's, it's completely at the full, especially again with Isaac gone. And, um, so yeah. What else? The Hannah stuff this week. I am now on the side of not trusting Hannah completely. I think Hannah is going to do, is going to end up um, screwing Dexter over because even though it was nice this episode where Isaac was saying about, you know, love and what, you know, Dexter was having to really be able to commit, it was, I don't know, I just, I, I wasn't getting that feeling back from Hannah, like, at all, so I'm now on board with Hannah being evil and going to be an ultimately really big problem these last couple episodes. I actually think that's how they're going to go. I don't think she's going to stick around. And, um, 
as far as Deb goes, you know, uh, I like how they followed up last week's conversation, and again, a very mature way, very, very well written way. Their stuff's been great all season, so kudos to them on that. And now I guess just get to the the big stuff in the episode, which is, you know, Isaac is gone. It, um... I mean, before, as far as I, whether I'm annoyed about it or not, uh, which I am annoyed about it. Basically, I love the way that they basically took this character, I said basically twice, three times, that they took this character and made him more sympathetic in these last couple episodes, which was the complete opposite of what they thought they'd do, and the way he went out was the complete opposite of how I thought he'd go out. I was hoping he would, you know, fight Dexter in a big, you know, fight because they were two big guys or whatever, or, you know, could fight each other. And I was looking forward to a big, you know, like blowout or whatever. And instead, we got the opposite. They turned him into a, char a sympathetic character that, you know, went out just as we were actually really starting to like him, or at least as I was really, really starting to like the character more than just the performance. And... That's very different from what they've done in the past. As far as villains go on the show, he's second to Trinity, and i got to rewatch season four to see if this guy actually is number one, and that's um, that's impressive, because I never cared about a villain on the show anymore any any other time before, so that's pretty spot-on stuff. That's pretty good. And Ray Stevenson's work was, was just awesome these last couple episodes. He was great all year, but just, uh, yeah, just, just really, really fantastic. And... Um, his whole thing of getting put in the water where, you know, Victor was just, um, yeah, just always really well done. And now Dexter, you know, Dexter is going to take out the rest of the Koshkas and uh, maybe that'll save Quinn from what's going on. Plus we got the Phantom Arsonist, plus the Bay Harbor Butcher stuff, plus Hannah's dad seems to be in town. So yeah, there's still a lot going on. And I love that I don't know how it's going to play out. I could have told you this Isaac thing was going to play out for the next couple episodes Nope. So, unpredictable is good. And that's what's going on right now. And I love it. I hate that we lost Isaac, but the way he went out was much better than I could have imagined. So, I'm happy. I'm pissed, but I'm happy. Alright, I'll talk to you guys next week. Later.